the state of matter is like human behavior like human beings they adapt to their surroundings in fact all living beings do so as per the situation they adapt themselves similarly the form of what matter can also keep on changing ice you keep on table after some time it will become liquid you put some water in a katori or in a pan put it in the sun after some time it gets reduced you put clothes to dry they are wet before but after some time they become dry because water is being evaporated so what does that mean basically it means the state of matter is not something rigid every form of matter can exist in its three forms and they are interchangeable it's nothing final just like we cannot say that these are now habits and they are final we can change our habits depending upon what are the circumstances what are the conditions and here the conditions for change are temperature and pressure so the habits also change and just like the states of matter can also change so state of the matter can change which means solid can change to liquid and liquid to gas and not only that gas can also change back to liquid and liquid back to solid it all depends what kind of conditions are there now let's take a simple case of melting point what is melting point the process by which a solid changes into liquid is called melting like when ice changes to water so the process by which the a solid changes to liquid is called melting now when does melting happen i also said that when the conditions change and here the conditions are temperature and pressure then the state of matter changes then the melting can happen and interestingly enough it can happen only at one temperature for this again a simple activity you can take a beaker put some ice in it fix it on a stand and hang a thermometer the temperature at which ice starts melting observe that temperature when ice starts melting and the temperature when it has completely melted you will find that there is no change of temperature during this entire process it remains 0 degree celsius or 273.16 k to make this process fast we can even heat it even then it remains same the temperature of when ice starts melting and when it has completely melted it remains same but we were giving heat so where did this heat go that is one question second question is how what is this melting mean actually it means changing solid to liquid but what is the basic difference between solid and liquid the force of attraction between the molecules so obviously something happened by heating that the force of attraction reduced the space increased so solid became liquid a very interesting thing came to my mind like you are very good friends but another person tells you something against your friend and somehow slowly slowly your love for your friend reduces and you start moving away from your friend so now he is or she is one of the friends but not the best friend so what has happened something else has overpowered the force of attraction that's exactly what happens in this case also when a substance a solid substance is heated 
then the kinetic energy becomes more than the heat provides that kinetic energy to molecules. So, their motion increases, the rate of motion increases and as a result it is able to overpower the force of attraction and so it becomes a liquid that is what is going to happen or must have already started happening in your case the adolescence. Initially when you are very small the force of attraction for parents is very high but then you go to outer world you are influenced by outer things by other friends so your circle becomes wider. So that means what has happened you have become like a liquid now you are moving away from your home right. So here also the kinetic energy has taken over more over the force of attraction. So you can say heat provides more kinetic energy. which is able to overpower the intermolecular force of attraction. All right. This one can understand that heat was being utilized for giving kinetic energy and that is why solid became to liquid. But during this entire process of melting there was no increase in temperature once again because it was being utilized for melting. Now this is hidden this heat has got hidden and the word for hidden is latent. Latent means hidden like you have so many talents. One day you were forced by your teacher to go up to stage and you find you could sing or you could speak. Now till then you did not know about it. Now that is the latent talent. Similarly, the heat when we give heat and it is used only to change solid to liquid that is latent heat. So, we can also define latent heat. Now this is a very important definition. So, let me write it for you. The heat energy required to change one kilogram of a solid into a liquid at atmospheric pressure. This is called latent heat of fusion. Fusion term is used when solid is changing to liquid. So, what happens when a liquid changes to gas? That is also change of state. Now, in that case, we can say that the heat energy required to change 1 kilogram of a liquid. into a gas at atmospheric pressure is called latent heat of vaporization. Just as latent heat is required to change solid to liquid, it is also required for change from liquid to gas. Now, the temperature at which a liquid boils, what is that called? That is called a boiling point. This can also be easily determined. Like in the case of water, if you take water in a beaker and heat it and also observe the temperature. The temperature at which water starts boiling is the boiling point and in case of water it is 
100 degree Celsius or 373 K. Now, the process by which a liquid changes to gas that is called evaporation. Basically, by now what have we learnt that when we heat something then the state of matter changes and also when we cool like we took water we cooled it by keeping in freezer it became solid we heated it it became gas. So, what has brought about this change increase in temperature or decrease in temperature. So, we can just say that change in temperature can bring about a change in the state of matter. We can write it like this solid heat liquid heat gas you cool it gas changes to liquid you further cool it it changes to solid. So, it is basically the temperature which determines the state of matter. Some substances they can be liquid at room temperature also like mercury, but others cannot be. So, the boiling point and the melting point of a substance is variable it is not same for all right. Now, boiling point can easily be determined if we take a beaker fill it with water hang a thermometer like we did in previous case and then start heating it. So, the temperature at which it starts boiling is the boiling point. So, you can write it the temperature at which a liquid boils now this is a normal situation but there is a variation there are some solids which change can change directly to gases so for example if it is like this solid liquid gas the three points of a triangle solid can also change to liquid liquid can change back to solid and same is the situation here and at time solid can directly change to gas and gas can directly change back to solid, but this is not true for all substances. There are some substances which directly change from solid to gas right there is no intermediary stage and this kind of conversion is called sublimation. And the substances which can sublime they are called volatile like some people get angry very fast immediately from a smiling face they can you know flare up and become angry. But some people if they are happy then if they are even when they are feeling angry for some time they are in a state where they are neither very happy nor very angry. So, people who react very fast do not we call them volatile. Similarly, we have certain substances which are volatile. What are those substances like camphor, naphthalene, ammonium chloride, even when we want to protect our grains we sometimes for fumigation we use volatile substances. So, that they change to gas and gas spreads throughout the grains and grains are protected. For this also there is a simple experiment we fix a stand and in a watch glass we take this volatile substance cover it with a funnel. block this mouth with cotton then we heat it 
Now what happens? That this solid changes to gas and the fumes go up. As they rise up, the neck of the funnel is cold. So immediately they change back to solid. So from solid to gas and gas back to solid. So one condition now we are very clear that change of temperature can change the state of matter. Now what is the second condition? The second condition is pressure. If we go back to our molecular condition, what we found that in solid the molecules were very close to each other. In liquid they were not so close to each other and in gas they were totally spreading. They occupied the entire available space. Right? Now when we put pressure we can bring these molecules closer like your teacher puts pressure. She says instructs at times even screams that is the pressure and so you go back to your seats or you can say then the molecules come closer. And if you further apply pressure, they will become more close. Like in the case of gas, if you put pressure, the molecules will come closer and it will become a liquid. You further put pressure, it can become solid. So by increasing pressure also, the state of matter can 